Hey, I'm Rob, and this is Jacob. And we draw Monday through Friday, don't we, dude? Yeah. Yeah. What are we drawing today? Captain Underpants. <laughs> Captain Underpants. Troll. All right, dude. You got your marker. Yeah. We hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You got a marker or something to draw with. And then we're also going to use regular printer paper, aren't we? Yep. Eight and a half by 11. And we got two sheets because we're using a marker. We don't want it to go yep. through to our table. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. Let's draw them. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with the paper horizontal, right? Mm hmm You got the cap off? Yeah. You ready yeah. to get busy? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, he's kind of got an egg-shaped head, doesn't he? Yeah. And so it's a, a, a rainbow line that goes up and then down. And I came down a little more, a uh, little further on this side than on this side because we're gonna put it near over here. Come. Ooh, I like how tall it's gonna be. And I did um, close to the middle of the paper because his arms are gonna be out this way. He's gonna be flying. He's gonna have his underpants over here and his cape. <laughs> okay, you got it. Yeah. All right, let's get a little ear on this side. Okay, now we're gonna do a small line, small detail inside his ear. All right. Okay, now halfway down his, so right in the middle of his head, down here we're going to draw a line that comes up, and this is gonna be for his arm, and it's extending out. We're gonna just go a little past his head. So start right here about in the middle, and then diagonally up, Yes, and then don't go too far out there because his hands are going to be right there. All right, so let's do another line for the other side of his arm, like that. Good. All right, now let's start his, does he have a cape? Mm -hmm. It's like a blanket, isn't it? A blanket or um, a curtain. Curtain, something. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna start start it. It's gonna be a curved line that connects his arm to his ear. And then we're gonna come back and we'll finish his cape a little bit later. So let's get his face though. Okay. So we're gonna do two ovals and they're really small, like that. <laughs> and we could get one eyebrow over here. Good job, bro. Okay, and then his nose. Kind of looks like a pig nose, huh? <laughs> so you draw a curly line that curls back around on both sides. <laughs> nice. And then we're going to draw his smile, and we're going to have him with an open mouth. And it's going to come all the way, almost touching both sides. Okay? And then we're going to draw a line that comes down. This is for the bottom part of his mouth. And then another line over here. Finish this side. Does that look like him? Yeah. Yeah. You like you like these books, don't you? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'll hear you laughing every once in a while and look over and you're reading Captain Underpants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you're gonna do his teeth? Good job. You know what we're gonna do. <laughs> you know him pretty well, don't you? Mm-hmm. How many books do you have? Oh, uh, I think I have one, but I do But you I check a bunch last, out, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I think um I have the last one. Cool. Wait, they're still making more. Are but, they? Yeah. Okay, let's fill in the bottom part of his mouth. Good job, Kay. We got his head all finished. Let's let's move over to his hand. So we're gonna do a thumb. It's almost a P shape, like you're gonna make a the letter P. <laughs> then we're gonna come out. We're gonna do another bump out for his knuckle. And then we're going to do two more knuckles. And then the, th the last one would come around and back into, his, back into his hand. Good job. That is one big hand. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to draw his other hand a little later. We're going to finish it. We're going to work on his body some more. Actually, let's drop down here and we're going to finish up a little piece of his cape. And so we're going to come down. And then up, and then curl around. Kind of an S line. 
Yeah, good job. Okay, now we can finish, no, not finish, but we can start his body. So we're gonna draw a big line and that's gonna be his, where his underwear is. <laughs> his butt. <laughs> I said it. All right, okay, now we're gonna draw his belly and it's gonna come around and we're gonna almost connect over here, but not quite, okay? So we're gonna come down here, we'll, we can put a little dot right here, we'll leave a space and it's diagonal, see that? So it's not straight down, it's a little over, so it's diagonal. And that's where we're gonna end this line. So we're gonna imagine his head coming through his arm, and then that's where we're gonna start the line, okay? okay. So do you have your dot down here? Where'd you no. put it? Oh, you connected it already, that's good. Um, yeah, no, it? that's great. So that's where you're gonna connect that line, okay? So I, I left it, I just left a gap there. That's all right. I'll show you what I'm going to do when I connect it. So we're going to come down here and do a big, big line that comes down and then connects to that dot. And you keep going to your line. Yes, good job. So you just drew a straight line diagonal and that's okay. I'm going to curve my line because that's where his legs coming out of his underpants. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fine. I would leave it. Okay, let's go back up here and finish his other arm, okay? Okay. So we're going to do a little oval right here. This is for his thumb on his other hand. And we're overlapping so the oval doesn't connect because he's got a knuckle in front of it. Okay, now we're going to do is an oval over here. And this is for his first finger. Then we're going to do a second finger. Then we're going to do his last finger. And this is going to be a, um, a curl, curly line that comes around that. Good. You did it. Now we're going to imagine, I'll go ahead and connect mine too. We're going to imagine this line. Coming through, this is for his arm on the back side. So his his arm that's behind the other arm. Good, you did it. Okay, we finished his arms. Let's go back over here and let's work. Let's finish his cape. Should we okay. do that? Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna imagine this line right here, going through his ear, coming back out, and we're gonna do curl up so it runs parallel to this curved line that we did. Good, then we're gonna keep coming down and then we're gonna curl back out that. Good, now curl, curl that line right at the end a little more, a little further down, there you go. And then um, we're going to bring that back in by doing a bunch of U shapes, upside down U shapes. Yeah, good job, man. We did his cape. All right, let's do a little dots. Because he's got kind of a texture. There's a texture on his cape. And we'll probably have to put these back in after we color it. Okay. All right, let's get the, the knot up here under his neck. We're going to do a circle. Then we're going to do a leaf shape or a teardrop shape, upside down teardrop. Good, and then we'll do another one right next to it. Awesome, okay, let's put some more dots on that one too. Good, he's looking a little naked, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we should put some underpants on him. <laughs> Okay, right up here where his body comes into the cape, we're going to start there and then we're going to come down all the way down to this so we can put a little point right there. It's a little, let's see, we could. it's right under the handkerchief here. So we're going to curl down and actually I think I'm going to go a little higher right there. He's got a wedgie. <laughs> all right, let's do another line right next to that one that 
is parallel to that one. Good job, Kate. And then let's put a texture, so we'll put a dashed line for the elastic in his underpants. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come back over here. We're going to do another line parallel to this one. His leg's going to come out. And then we're going to connect up here. Two lines parallel to each other. And then let's put two dots for his chest. All right, okay, let's do his, let's do his leg. We're almost done. We're gonna do a, a J that comes out. Good. Well, that's a good J. Okay, and then we're gonna bring another line right here. Come over here. You don't wanna get too close because he's got an ankle. Oh, I like how bent his leg is, that's good. <laughs> then we're gonna do an upside down U, a rainbow line. Then we're gonna make his toes. So we'll just go over. Put some bumps in there for his toes. Good job. Good. Okay. Let's do another rainbow line right here for his other foot. This is his heel on the other foot that's behind this one. You got it? Yep. Okay. And then we'll do another curved line right here for his leg, his second leg. And we can do some more bumps right here. Where's his other toes? <laughs> we did it, man. Look at that. Are we missing anything? Uh, I think we got it all. You ready to color them? Yeah. Okay. Okay, dude, we got our colors all picked out, and we're going to be using oil pastels, right? Yeah. And we're using the Pentel brand, and we'll leave a link in the description of this video where our art friends can purchase them at, on Amazon. Yeah. We got, what colors do we got? We got a light blue. That's um, for shading his underpants. <laughs> and then we got white. We got a pale orange, red, and yes, that light blue. We're gonna fast forward most of our coloring because there's not a lot of shading. Cool? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do it right, right now. now. Okay, so we did a little trick on our uh, when we were coloring the skin. Right? Mm -hmm. We left a little white edge around the top of his head and also down here on his chest and then on the top of his hands. And it looks like a highlight, right? Yeah. Kind of makes his body look a little more shiny. Mm -hmm. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, while you're working on your cape, I got my cape finished and I'm going to use the white to go over the top and put a little highlight on the top edge of his cape. Just like that. And then we'll put another one right here that's coming into his neck. And then also down here at the bottom. Okay, and then the last step we use the light blue and we just put a small edge right here on the, on the top and then also on the bottom. And then we did another layer of white on top, right? Mm -hmm. To fade it out so it's not as bright. Dude, good job. You did awesome on your Captain Underpants. Did you have fun? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. Yeah? Looks like he's ready to go fight some crime <laughs> or do something weird. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Captain Underpants with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.